Xanthor's coin magic trick. This is David Xanthor, the hobo wizard. After revealing the secrets behind his world-changing illusion, how to shoot an arrow through a woman, Xanthor was run out of town by the magic circle. They really hate him. He lost his membership, his pension plan, and his house. But not to worry, now Xanthor lives out a comfortable life performing magic tricks on South End Pier in return for food and a free goes on the rides. <laughs> Count Xanthula, the one thing David has always been able to make disappear is money. So in this next world melting illusion, that's exactly what he's going to do. To you, through and through. M moo? <laughs> Frankenzanth! David's found a couple of seaside bleeders perfect for this trick. First he shows them a regular 20 pound note. You can tell it's a regular 20 because it is one. Now he screws it up into a ball like Turner Prize winner Martin Creed. A magician and an artist? DZ, you're really something. Next, he gives the balled up note to one of the mugs to hold. He tells it to grip it tight so he can't get his grubby little magic fingers anywhere near it. Now Captain Xanthor asks them for an ordinary ten pence piece. If you're not English, try asking for a quarter, or a butt, or a euro. Now he tells them to splash their attention all over his hands, as he mystically makes the coin utterly vanish out of existence. Shoot me dead, Xanthor. That's incredible. Now he tells the punter to check the note in their already clenched fist. What the heck is this? Inside the note is the ten pence piece. It hadn't vanished at all, but rather teleported through time space. Well, set my eyebrows to shocked, because that's amazing. The girls are stunned. It shattered their tiny worlds. The seaside will never be the same again. It was really good. I'm going to have that. I'm checking so you can say you want it. It looks good. Yeah. It was amazing. It was really, really good. Yeah, I've never seen anything like it before if I like really impressed. <laughs> Or Zanzilla! Right, world dwellers, here's a little secret. That coin didn't teleport at all, because outside the world of quantum physics, that's impossible, just like magic. In reality, it's a trick. David had two coins all along and used a little something called performance to make you think he made it vanish. Here's how. When David, the Emperor of Deception, balled up the £20 note, he secretly fingered a duplicate coin right up it. This idiot didn't have a clue, but she was holding the coin all along. Now the trap is set, all that's left is for David the Mindwalker to perform his world-famous David Xanthor coin palm. A technique he made up himself that you won't find anywhere else in the magic world. Anyone you see using this palm is copying Xanthor. Shame on you, magic circle. Here's how it's done. When apparently thrusting the coin into his beadle, David is actually slipping it round the back of his hand with his thumb and resting it in the bend of his wrist. Now when he opens his hands, the coin appears to have vamooshed into thin air, shocking the locals. Now, when Corporal Xanthor tells the coastal beauty to check the note in her hand, the Xanth man can quickly slip the coin and no one will be any the wiser. South End! Well, that's a wrap, Xanthor. Another magic secret smashed. How can we ever thank you? Well, I suppose we can help you out of debt, but we're not going to do that. So good luck on your own, you little magic man. Night-night, Xanthor!